My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of the 2021 movie Mortal Kombat. Now, before I get started on this review, I've got two things of news for this channel. The first one is which that I'm not going to review every single Netflix movie that comes out now. I was trying to review as many new releases as I could to get some extra eyes to my channel. But the truth is, I just don't really enjoy 90% of Netflix and Amazon Prime originals. I'll still review the ones I want to see, like I'm looking forward to see Jake Gyllenhaal's remake of The Guilty, I'll review The Power of the Dog, but unless I'm actually looking forward to it, I won't review it. So I'm going to fill some of that time with some random reviews. I don't know quite what I'm doing yet. I know I'm going to do a review for Mortal Kombat, Tom and Jerry, and The Witches. So after that, I might just pick random movies to review. I'm not really sure yet, but I guess you'll find out. And the other thing is that I'm going to try to use less cuts in my videos just because um, I want to get better at speaking and I might as well do it while I have next to no subscribers. So I'm going to try to go lengthy periods of time without any cuts just so I can get better at it. I might slip up, you might laugh at me, but I gotta try it out. So anyways, this is a review for the 2021 movie Mortal Kombat, like I already said. I've watched the original Mortal Kombat not too long ago. I know lots of people love it for its campiness. I just think it's an actively bad movie. I didn't get any enjoyment from it, and Mortal Kombat Annihilation... Mother... You're alive. Too bad you... will die. Likes. <laughs> Not a good movie whatsoever. But I was looking forward to this movie for one reason and one reason alone. And that's because in the trailer, there's a scene where Sub-Zero cuts a guy, catches his blood in mid-air, freezes it, and then stabs the guy with his own blood. As soon as I saw that in the trailer, I was just like, oh man, this looks amazing. Like, everything else in the trailer, I didn't care for. But that scene alone, I'm like, I had to watch it. And that scene in the movie, it's, it's still bloody awesome. It really is. He slices someone open, catches his blood, freezes it, and then stabs him with his blood. That's, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. And Sub-Zero is easily the best part of this movie. He's such a great menacing figure, and every time he shows up on screen is when the movie was at its best. Joe Taslam does an amazing job as him. The only other cast member who I found to be remotely decent was Josh Lawson, because I thought that he added a bit of life to the movie, he has a big personality, but the other actors in this movie I just found to be really dull and generic. The main lead in the movie, I think his name is Louis Tan, I thought he was such a bland main character. And no one else really added much to this movie, they didn't really add any life or personality into it, and just because of their performances, I found that this movie took itself a bit too seriously. Like there's a scene well, Josh Lawson is getting into an argument with two guys at a table and he's big and loud and he's just stealing the entire show. And the other two guys, you know, they're the mature ones. They're the ones acting reasonable. But at the end of the day, I remember Josh Lawson for his loud performance compared to the other two actors who just were there. I, I just thought that as goofy as this premise is, I wish the actors leaned into that and had more fun with this movie because I just thought that everyone just took this movie too seriously. The action in this movie is very hit or miss. I thought the first 10 minutes were actually pretty awesome and it gave me lots of hope for this movie. And then the action from that point forward was very mediocre. It wasn't actively bad or anything. It was bloody without being brutal. And what I mean by that is that people are getting slashed open, there's guts, there's blood, but you don't really feel the punches. You don't really feel the weight of what's going on. So that element just kind of didn't really work for me, but I did find the last fight to be awesome too. Like I said, that's the fight where we get the blood going up into the air, him catching it and stabbing someone with it. So yes, the, the last fight, the movie began and ended really strong, but everything in between that just really fell flat for me. This movie's about Mortal Kombat, but Mortal Kombat isn't present in this movie whatsoever, which I just found to be an odd choice. It's like the entire movie, everybody is talking about Mortal Kombat, the tournament, and they're building up to it. And then it just never happens. 
Like, I feel like if the movie took its time, established the characters, built up rivalries, and then the last act was the Mortal Kombat tournament, and you just saw the payoff to all that build-up getting paid off, that would have been really good. But instead, it's just like, oh, well, fingers crossed it makes enough money so we can get a sequel. So I find that entire element to be underwhelming. The story itself is just so nothing. Like, I don't even know what the story was. Basically, this guy gets told that he's going to be a part of Mortal Kombat and then people are after him and these other people and then they find out more about the tournament and then those people get attacked and then the tournament just never happens. Like what's even the story? I mean, like this, It just feels like a big prequel to what's supposed to be the story. So I found the story was just really bad. It doesn't establish the characters of the world well enough in interesting ways. There's lots of exposition, but you don't really feel like this is a world that exists. You see it, but you don't really feel it. And because of that, I just found that the entire movie had a very underwhelming quality to it. And um, yeah, like I said, I never connected with the main character. I think he was supposed to be the emotional core of the story and everything. I just never cared for him. I, I had zero investment in him. I don't even know what the big deal behind him was. So yeah. So to sum up my thought is that this movie has a fantastic villain in Sub-Zero. There are some promising moments at the beginning and end of the movie, but everything in between just completely falls flat. It takes itself too seriously. The action is for the most part very mediocre. The cast is dull and don't add much to this movie. So I just found this movie to be underwhelming in just about every single way. So I'm going to give the 2021 movie Mortal Kombat a 4 out of 10. Okay, did you see Mortal Kombat? Did you think it was a fatality or did you really enjoy it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.